causes a regime to perceive the internet as such a profound threat that it is willing to damage its economy by choking bandwidth, blocking content, or even shutting down the network entirely. These are the acts of governments that fear their own people. In cracking down on the internet, they expose their own lack of legitimacy. But these crackdowns also indicate a basic lack of understanding that free speech, whether it's supportive speech or subversive speech, is harder than ever to suppress in the digital age. And the young people who have taken to the streets across the Arab world this year understand it isn't pornography or pirating that is being suppressed. It's people. It's their demands for dignity and its say in the political and economic future of their countries. After all, Facebook does not foment dissent. People do. Twitter only amplifies those voices that have the most resonance, those ideas that people find most powerful. 